What up, everyone? So, moving on with December, we've got Geek Fuel here. So, this box has been canceled. I canceled it last month, so pretty sure this is the last time we'll see this little box. You've been good. You've been good, old friend, but it's time to move on. So, let's see what the last Geek Fuel box has sent us. Alrighty. First, we got gift wrap. 8-bit gift wrap. That looks kind of cool, though. So we got three different kinds. There's a green one that's like Legend of Zelda, the blue one, which is Mega Man, and the red one, which looks like Mario. Yeah, that's cool. So I will use that. This came just before Christmas, so I can use that. I'll wrap some stuff up in it. That's fitting. All right, gift wrap, 8-bit. Looks very cool. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Mm -hmm. So we got our little booklet here. And I'm guessing this is a game code. Looks like Devil Bluff and Blue Kid 2. So it looks like two game codes, one of which is a $4 value and one of which is a $15 value. So it looks like there was no incentives in this one. Um, they usually give something with it, like a keychain or candy or something like that. But this one looks like they just gave two codes. And these are obviously Steam game codes for two different games. So, alright, that works. Game codes, very much expected from this box. No surprise there. Then, looks like we got a t-shirt. Let's take a look at this shirt and see what we got. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So it looks like a crossover between Batman and the Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, oddly enough, this is not the first time we've seen a Nightmare Before Christmas and Batman crossover. We saw one from Comic-Con Box in, I think, October, which was horrible. It was a terrible shirt. This one's not too bad. Um, crossovers are always, like, not preferred, but, you know, they, they can be good sometimes. We're on the Gildan Heavy Cotton, so quality-wise, it's decent, but, you know, this one's not too bad. Um, it's a kind of a subtle crossover. It kind of just looks like Joker. He looks a little bit like Jack Skellington, but not too much like him to the point where they forced it, so... You know, I think this is okay. And then it's got the fence behind him, says Arkham on it, for the whole Arkham City thing. Not too bad. Like, I, I think they did decent on that crossover. I think it looks okay. Uh, it doesn't look like a terrible shitty one, so eh, moderate. Okay, so I will give this one a 6.5 out of 10. I think most people will get the reference. I think most people will like it, but you know, crossovers are never the best thing, so it is what it is. 6.5. All right, that'll do. All right. Let's see what else we got. Do, 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 do. Something in a black box. Mystery item. Let's see what it is. Get out of there. It's a ball. It's like the most boring unboxing ever. I have no idea what half of this stuff is. Alright. I still don't know what this is. It says Star Wars on it. What are you? Okay, okay, I think I know what this is. It doesn't say it on there. I'm sure it says in a little pamphlet. I think this is an ice cube maker for, so I, you can see on the inside, I don't know if you can see it, try and shine the light in there, but there's texture on the inside that looks like the Death Star. And then there's a little hole on top. I'm pretty sure, just by looking at this, this is for making ice cubes. So you, it has a little hole on the top. I'm guessing you fill that with water, and then you put this in the freezer. And the purpose of like one giant ice cube this is specifically for like whiskey or mixed drinks because um, the thing about any sort of drink, the smaller the ice cube, the faster it melts. So the bigger the ice cube, the less, um, the slower it melts, therefore it doesn't dilute your drink as quickly. So the, much like whiskey stones, um, they do things like this so your whiskey doesn't get diluted with water and it still stays cold. So you make one giant ice cube like this, a ball, and then it fills up your entire glass keeps your drink cold, but doesn't water it down super bad. So I'm assuming that's what that is, which is pretty cool. Something we've never seen. Um, we've seen ice trays a whole ton, but not one is specific for this. So um, you can only make one at a time, obviously, which is kind of a bummer. So you got to plan a little bit in advance, but still cool and it's still pretty interesting and it's branded. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I could be wrong though. Who knows? Alrighty, moving on. Here we got, looks like a greeting card. So I'll show you. This is obviously from Geek Fuel. That's the little robot from Geek Fuel and R2D2. And it says these are the droids you're looking for. 
How adorable is that? Is my camera focusing? Focus! Yeah. Anyway. Same thing on the inside. Yeah. So, just a little greeting card. We've seen, uh, I think they had one last month or something like that, but yeah. Nice little greeting card. It's Christmas time. It's fitting. That works. Alrighty. So, these. Liquid candy. Oh my gosh, these are cool. So, these are just like, these are candy and they have little, they're wax and they have liquid on the inside. These are like those classic um, candy like bottles. I would say Coke bottles, but they're not Coke bottles. Everyone's seen them in the candy store. They're little bottles and they come in all different colors. Um, you bite open the wax and then you drink the fluid on the inside. These are just shaped like lightsabers, kinda. They're just like basic shapes. But they say lightsabers, but you know, whatever. I don't remember ever seeing a yellow lightsaber, but you know, whatever. That's close enough. So, yeah, just some candy in here. That's cool. And it's Star Wars themed. Alright. Looks like we got one big item in here, and it looks like a Simpsons book. So this looks like it says, The Vault of Simpsonology. Let's see what it says in the back. Um, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure what this is about. Let's open it up and take a look. Obviously this is from The Simpsons. So it looks like one of the uh, interactive books. It looks like it has things that come out of it. There's a little envelope in here. And I think this is just a Simpsons book, like just making jokes about Homer being lazy. Pretty much, yeah. And it has little inserts that you can pull out. I've seen a lot of books like this. Um, we've seen Marvel ones, and there's a bunch of different ones that are interactive where you know, they just have things that you can pull out of it and take a look at. So, yeah, this is just a, a book of Simpsons, and it's all about Homer just being lazy. I'll can flip through, like, a few pages here just to give you guys an idea of it. So it just has some jokes and a few little games and interactive things in there. So, yeah, that's cool. Nice little book. Interesting. Way to go. All right, so it looks like we have one more item in here. And it is, looks like a droid. What is this, an eraser? Yep. We got a little BB-8 eraser. So I think everyone loves BB-8. I think he's the new favorite droid. So yeah, so that was all the items in the box. So we'll take a short break, then we'll come back and talk about some value and give this box a rating. See you soon. All right, we are back. Let's go through this box and give it some value. First off, the shirt. So I'll give it the 6.5 rating. It'll get the standard $12 to $15 value. Then, our book. So books are very hard to give value, much like this box is in general. <clears throat> so the full retail value on this book is $24.99. It's hardcover. It comes with inserts. It's interactive. So these types of books go for a lot. But like I said about all books, it's hard to give a value because the funny thing about books is that there's nothing to stop someone from reading this book, selling it online as new, and then just selling it for whatever, less than half the cost. So I usually always give books and things like that the full retail value, because if you were gonna go into a bookstore, that's technically what you'd have to pay. But if you look online, you can find this book for like 10 or 12 bucks, like less than half the price of what it costs. Because like I said, people can read it, enjoy the book, pass it on to the next person, and its life continues. As long as it doesn't really get damaged, with this, which this one is a little bit, so as long as nothing happens to it, you can just, people can just keep selling it over and over and over again. So, there's gonna get a wide range there, as low as 10, but technically the full retail market on it is $25. So there's that book. Next, the mold. Uh, it says on the card it can be used for anything, like arts and crafts and stuff for like that, but like, eh, I don't think anyone's using it for that. It's technically supposed to be used for ice, if you look online, that's what it's listed for, an ice cube holder or maker or whatever you want to call it. And this only sells for like three bucks, like two or three dollars, even after shipping. It's very cheap. Um, it doesn't come in a nice box or anything like that, but it is technically branded. But um, it's kind of cheap because it only does one ice cube at a time, but two or three bucks on that is what that would cost. Next, our little gift wrapping paper. So this is just like um, paper paper. I think it's more of like the stuffing that you put in bags. 
and less of like the actual wrapping paper. But you know, something like this wrapping paper, even like the paper that goes inside, is very cheap. Um, even ones with pictures on it and stuff, you can get very cheap. You can get like huge rolls of it for like five bucks. So this has cool characters on it. So I'm gonna give this like a five or six dollar value. But it really shouldn't be more than that because even the nicest of wrapping paper with cool characters on it, really you can get huge rolls of it for like I said five bucks. So five or six dollars is more than generous on that. Then our game codes. Where are they go? Our game codes here. So this is something that I've always had trouble with with this box because I try to rate um, my boxes based on what you guys want and not what I want, based on your opinion. So because that's what this channel is about, helping you guys out, giving these boxes value to try and help you decide what you'd like. But the ironic part about it is that these codes, these Steam game codes, are not for everyone. Not everyone's a Steam gamer and not even everyone can do Steam gaming. Um, Steam works for PC and Mac, but there are some games that are strictly for PC. Uh, I, I'm assuming they pick ones that are for both because they wouldn't know, but so it's up to you. Um, usually they come with incentives, like I said, candy, keychains, etc., but this time they didn't, so the value of this is very hard to say. If you use the Steam game codes and you fully like it, I guess technically it's worth $19, the value they give it, but it's really hard to give it that value because if you don't use the Steam game code or if you happen to not like the game then it really doesn't have any value because there's nothing tangible that you can keep or or do anything with and also Steam game codes are the value of it is never usually actually the value because there are constantly sales and things where they group them together and they give away and things like that so putting it at the full market value is very hard to do because that's just not the real value of it so <clears throat> the range on this is technically 0 to 19 so it may be worthless to a lot of people or it may be technically worth the same value so it's kind of up to you what it's worth to you because like I said it's not technically anything tangible it's just something that you could potentially use it's like if you get a, like coupon codes that you get in these boxes if you get five dollars off of something it's like well technically it's worth five dollars and it's like well no it's only worth five dollars if you shop at that place so it's up to you to decide how much of that value gets put into this box and this rating so Steam Game Code. Then, our card. Got our little greeting card in here. I'm going to give this like 2 or $3 because, you know, even nice greeting cards don't really cost much more than that. They obviously printed this themselves, so I don't know how useful it is to people, but 2 or 3 bucks on that I think is fair. Then our eraser, a dollar or two. It's branded, but it's an eraser. Then our candy, a dollar. Really not much more to say about it than that. So, that was all the items in the box. So, like I said, this is incredibly hard to give a rating for because the value on this one is such a wide range because it depends on how, how you judge things for yourself. So on the low end, 33, and on the high end, 74. So it's up to you to decide how much value you put into both the book and the game code. Whether you value the book at what it would fully cost to buy it in the store or whether you'd value at what it resells for online. And the game code, up to you whether you would use it or not. So the, the range is so wide in here. But honestly, I'd probably put this, the book closer to the higher end of the retail and the game code closer to the lower end. So kind of somewhere in between. So honestly, the honest value in this box probably be in the 40s somewhere, like right in that middle range. Which is fine because that's pretty much almost double your value. This box only costs $24. So it's actually one of the cheaper boxes. But, you know, the reason I canceled it is because I've never once used the Steam game codes, um, which is, that's just me. Um, uh, I don't happen to use them, but I'm sure someone else could. <clears throat> so they don't give that much value to me. And most of the time, this box is just okay. This one was actually pretty good. You got a good mix of stuff and good items, but a lot of the times, there's a lot of stuff in there that I don't end up using, like game codes, like coupon codes, or like just inserts, or posters that aren't like the nice kind, that are crappy quality. So... Every once in a while we get good stuff. We've gotten some exclusive comics in here, which have been very valuable. But we haven't gotten any recently. And you know, the book was fine. I liked it, but that's why I canceled it. Because this box has always just been okay. It's always been in the middle of the countdown. It's always just kind of skated by. You've always got good value, so it's worth it. But, you know, I've honestly never really been excited to get this box. Every time it comes, I'm just like, okay, like, here it is. But it's never been exciting. It's never, like, blown me away. And I don't think it has for anyone else either. So... If you like Steam Game Codes, I say go for it, but other than that, um, there's really not much to say about this box. I don't think they have a major selling point. I do like this company, though. This company does a great job, and they seem to respect the product, and they seem genuinely interested in it, so I like that, but 
I, I think it's just time to move on from it. It's been here long enough. I've had it like six months or something like that. That's just been enough time. It's, it's time to switch them out and try new things that I actually am excited about. So this box is going to get a 6.5 out of 10. You got decent value. You got good stuff. But again, nothing mind-blowing here. It, it was just okay. So, And that's how it's always been. So this is pretty much going to be the last time we'll ever see it. Um, it might come back around at a much later date, but I wouldn't be too interested to see anything about that. But, you know, uh, hopefully they do more exclusives in the future. And, of course, right when I canceled this box, a bunch of referrals came in, so I would have gotten the next one free, but ain't that always the case. As soon as you cancel something, it's, it happens like that. But whatever. So, this has been Geek Fuel. Uh, shirt 6.5 out of 10. Box 6.5 out of 10 as well. Let me know what you guys thought about it, whether you're sad to see it go, or whether you're ready to move on from this box. So let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Peace.